Well, if you haven't noticed it, tis the season. Tis the season of giving and receiving. And even if you try to hide, they will find you and you will get the message. It is the season of giving and the season of receiving. Both of which can present issues. In the Buddhist tradition, there is a major emphasis placed on generosity. Dana is the word in both Sanskrit and Pali. When people would come to the Buddha and ask to receive instruction in how to meditate, he would teach them first about generosity before teaching anything about meditation. And the reason for that was that he could see that attempting to meditate with a heart that was not open and caring about the needs of one's fellow beings would make meditation not only difficult, but it could make it quite unpleasant as well. So he began by teaching about dana, generosity. And we also see in a teaching called the parami, which means perfections, in the list of ten perfections, he put generosity first, which means generosity was put ahead of morality, ahead of wisdom, ahead of patience, determination, loving kindness, truthfulness, equanimity. And again, we have the sense of the same reason that one must start with that feeling of an open heart, ready to relinquish, to let go. Because as many of you know, the Buddha singled out the cause of dukkha, the, the cause of suffering, as being clinging, grasping, that desire for more, more, my, me, I. And he saw that that needed to be released. And the best practice for that was practices in generosity, releasing, letting go. <laughs> so throughout the teachings, we see practices of generosity come up again and again. One that's significant is, in terms of giving, to give away related to the five basic precepts. The precepts that were offered for lay people, you and me. To give away any thought of doing any harm in the world to any creature. To give away any thought of taking anything that is not truly ours to give away participating in sexual misconduct, and to protect those who are vulnerable, specifically children, to give away harsh, unkind, untruthful speech, so that we speak truthfully and with words that are kind and uplifting, to give away the abuse of intoxicants so that the mind is clear and can see things as they really are, the ground of wisdom. And to that the Buddhist said the highest gift is the gift of the Dharma. And in this case Dharma meaning the teachings that relate to truth and reality. The greatest gift is the gift of the Dharma. If one can and is qualified to actually teach the Dharma, one should do so. But others should support and facilitate the sharing of the Dharma. As an example, what you are doing right now, facilitating the sharing of the Dharma. And the Buddhists saw that as the greatest gift because the more we can bring 
truth and clarity into our own lives and by extension then into the lives of those around us, the more we were moving toward alleviating and ultimately ending suffering. Ending our own suffering and ending the suffering of those around us. And some of you will remember that the Buddha said after 45 years of teaching, all of my teaching has been about there is suffering and there is an end of suffering. So that's where the focus always goes. Will my decisions, will my gift, will the way I receive a gift move myself and others toward alleviating suffering? So we think in terms of gifts and generosity being appropriate coming at the right time and the right place. And the receiving of a gift being received in a way that is gracious. And finally, what the Buddha said about generosity is that we can never really measure the full effect of even the smallest act of generosity because every action has repercussions that go on and on and on. So we give whatever we give with thought, with care, with a sense that our gift is appropriate, and then we give freely so that we as the giver can feel good about our gift and that it can also bring happiness to the recipient. From the Buddhist perspective, that is what the season is about. Tis the season. Tis the season of generosity. Tis the season of moving toward a sense of being awake and ending suffering for ourselves and for others. <laughs>